Hey Aquarius, I hope that you're doing well. I send you so much love and light. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to your December love reading. So we're going to take a look and see what kind of energy is coming in for your love life this month in December. It could be who's coming towards you, experiences, messages of advice from spirit. I never really know what's going to come through. I'm just going to open myself up and let you guys know what your messages are, what spirit shows me is going on in your love life this month. All right. And if you are new, my name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. I do hope that you enjoy the reading. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, you guys. Don't forget to share, subscribe. All right, let's jump in. Let's see what's in store for you guys in December. In your love life, Aquarius. Okay, before we begin. Just want to take a moment to invite white light, Holy Spirit. Let's see, what are your messages from Spirit? So right away, Aries energy, Capricorn energy, and the initial M is coming through. Is that your initial or is this someone that you have on your mind and that's their initial? Are you thinking of a Capricorn or an Aries? I wonder if any of you are on the cusp of Capricorn. Well, the overall energy here, this is a very strong message. Uh, it's funny because I feel like you have this person that is trying to kind of barge their way back into your life. It's not somewhat, see the thing about this energy is the five of cups. It's like something that's coming back to you. Someone else, someone making their presence known in your life from the past. So I definitely see someone that you've had a history with and this that's what the overall energy is it's like the past coming back into the present some of you are open to embracing someone from the past others of you i feel like this person comes in and could actually cause a lot of tension because this night of that knight of swords is really the energy of anger it's tension some of you could even feel like this person that I see trying to come towards you is, is crossing a line, especially if you are involved with someone else now. If you're involved with someone else now, I still see this person trying to make their way toward you in December. Some of you, it puts you in a position where you could feel co confused when it comes to who you're with now and who's trying to come back into your life. I say that because the Ace of Cups is it that's very emotional. And when the Ace of Cups comes comes in reverse, that's the way spirit shows me about like feelings that are there, but like that are trying to trying to be forgotten about. Like I I'm trying to not feel that. I don't want to focus on that, even though it's something that I I can't deny. I'm trying to deny it. So for some of you here, I do see circumstances where you're torn between. This is definitely being torn between. Because for some of you here, you might have someone that you feel came into your life is good and this person is good for you, like um, a true partner, someone that you do have a lot of respect for, someone that you feel, I mean, it's just respect. That That's the best way to put it, the emperor, but the emperor in reverse with the devil, it's like this interesting energy of Whoever you're, if you resonate with what I'm saying, Aquarius, and whoever you're with now, it's going to cause a lot of tension between the two of you if you talk to someone from the past or consider even embracing, embracing continued communication with someone from the past. If you're with, if you're in a relationship now, let me explain this, because if you're in a relationship now and you take that relationship seriously... 
you might want to really refrain from opening the door to the past because I feel like that could be a temptation for you. Otherwise, if it wasn't a temptation, it wouldn't bring all of this up to the surface with being put in a position where you're comparing the past to the present and you feel confused or having someone from the past stir up a lot of emotions within you that you felt were lying dormant and all of a sudden this person comes back in and it's bringing those feelings up again. Feelings that maybe even, like I said, you've tried to suppress or maybe you thought were gone. So I feel like you're getting a big warning from spirit, Aquarius. You know, you're going to do what you feel is best for you. But it is like a warning. Um, if you open the door to someone from the past, it looks like it will bring a lot of tension into your love life currently. And you know what's funny about that is some of you could be single right now. You're getting a lot of warnings from spirit to not embrace the past. That's just something to consider. I know for each of you, you're going to want to, obviously you're going to want to do something different. You're going to do what you feel is best for your life. But it just feels like... Anyone who's wondering about the potential outcome, I feel like you're not going to get what you want there. If you already feel like you've been disrespected in that connection and you feel like communication was a struggle and you were not treated the way you truly deserve to be treated, or maybe even this person like would really shut down on you, someone that you uh, ended up in a no contact situation with, I feel like you have to be careful because... There's something dangerous about that person's energy. I mean, when you see these two come together, that is, whew, that's something that's like so confusing because of the way the love feels so real and the emotions are so heightened, unlike anything you've ever felt before. But then there's so much negativity as well attached to that connection. So it's funny because I'm trying to see, well, is there actually more good than bad? Does the good outweigh the bad? And I can, you know, this is this devil energy, because those are the lovers on that card. They're just in uh, like they're in a toxic place. They're in a place where there's a lot of darkness and it's like trying to break free from it. So if you want advice from spirit, whether or not you should open yourself up to the past, the answer is no. And if you're really wondering, like, has that person changed? Are they going to treat me the way that I deserve to be treated? I don't think that they are. I think that they're. if you give them the chance, Aquarius, they're going to put you in a position where you're fighting with them all over again, arguing with them all over again, and where you just feel confused. And yes, there is a lot of love that I can see you want to give to this person, but you don't really feel like it's safe to do that. And then there's so much holding back. It's almost like wishing for something that could be rather than what it actually is now. So um, as I look at your reading as a whole, there's definitely different groups of you guys that I'm talking to because some of you Aquarius have moved on and you're with someone that you have a lot of respect for. Don't open the door to the past because it will cause uh, fighting between you and your person. It'll cause a lot of tension between you and your person where it will make them feel very disrespected. It will make them feel small. E you know, the thing is, is even if they're telling you that it's cool that you talk to someone from the past, I think they're just doing that out of respect because they don't want to tell you what to do. So they're, they're saying that out of respect. But I can see how much it bothers this person and how it, it makes them feel disrespected if you choose that. Because you don't want someone's drama and like a, a connection from the past that was very harmful to you, tumultuous, brought a lot of like negativity and chaos into your life. You don't you don't want to open yourself up to that again. I mean, that's really I have to tell you that because that's what spirit is showing me. Don't open yourself back up to that. I just feel like it's overall. 
because I know some of you here are thinking about someone, hoping that hoping that spirit is showing, uh, rekindling things, reconnecting, and and the five of cups in reverse as the overall energy. That is someone who is trying to make up with you, trying to get back together with you. But it feels like it's so short term because right underneath that energy is the night of swords. So I see that. So I know that, that it won't take long for you to see that that same old side that that person has, their angry side, their, their frustrated side, their impatient side. Even certain addictions and, and vices still have a hold on this person. So it just feels like for some of you Aquarius, and I say this lovingly, I don't say this to sound mean at all, at all. But it's like holding on to something because of what it should be or what it could be, like thinking about what it could be as opposed to, to what it really is. If, if for some of you here, if this is like an ex spouse or someone that is the mother or father of your children, I feel like you're getting a lot of advice from spirit to not uh, try to pursue that connection romantically again. You'll do much better if you keep things cordial or if you keep things in the friend zone, trying to pursue it romantically just because I feel like the crazy thing about your reading Aquarius is if you open that door, you have so much drama that will just come through that door. These energies, are not to be taken lightly. It's mostly major arcana. And that's important because the major arcana can like really shift. It shows me a shift in your direction, a shift in your path, and even a shift in your life for some of you here. So that's not something that you want to take lightly. I should stress that fact to you. Three out of four cards is major arcana. So there's potential for something to shift in the wrong direction. That's why I'm giving you all this advice from spirit, Aquarius, to, to really reconsider opening the door to the past if you've been thinking about it. You know that expression, let sleeping dogs lie? I, I feel like that is the best way to approach December. So if you haven't had someone come forward from the past, they are going to. So that's where you're at the crossroads where it can really go in two different directions. And I don't see a connection with someone from the past going well. I feel like it can bring a lot of drama and chaos into your life and kind of throw you off course. And if you're with someone now, they're going to feel very disrespected. Okay, Aquarius, I know that that reading is a little bit touchy because I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm here like judging you or trying to tell you what to do. There are a lot of warnings coming through because it's, I just feel like I have to tell you don't, don't open that door because if you open that door, it's nothing but drama that's going to come through. So I, I feel like the best thing to do is not even not even risk the temptation because this person is going to make their way to you. They're, they're not going. Yeah, it's someone who I feel a lot of disrespect from this person because it's like they're not even respecting the fact that you could be with someone else. They're still going to try and fight for the connection and cause drama between you and the person that you could be with now currently. So a lot of things to think about in your reading. I feel like these messages are coming through to help someone, to really help someone make a decision, especially if they've been seeking guidance from spirit, looking for guidance in my readings about, about the past and how this person is coming back in. They are coming back in if they haven't already. That's what you need to know. So kind of prepare yourself Especially if you know that this person has um, a hold on you that's kind of difficult for you to understand or explain. Those are karmic ties. They're not a punishment, Aquarius. But it is something that I can see you hold the power and the power is just saying no. That letting that cycle with that person really be over and done with.
For those of you that are with someone now, and you look at this person like they're a good person, you feel like it's um, the most stable partnership you've ever had, relationship you've ever had. What spirit wants you to know is if you're not already married to that person, there's definitely potential for that in the future. I know that's what they intend. That's what's on their mind. And this person loves you deeper than they've ever loved anyone else. I know that they could be the strong, silent type. It could be someone that is very serious, maybe someone that is not very expressive emotionally. For some of you, this person is quite stoic, but that's what Spirit wants you to know, uh, you know about what's in their heart, what's on their mind, and their intentions towards you. You are better off where you are now. So there's an opportunity for you to smash a difficult cycle for you to completely break those chains, untether yourself, break those karmic ties and move forward into, into the present. All right, you guys. So if you're single, you're, you're better off um, embracing new energy and that message is the same for you because you know when i talk about the even if you haven't met this person yet i what i can see is on the horizon for you if you're single is a true love coming in for you a true love with a stable mature person that has the best of intentions towards you embrace new energy in december aquarius that's your message from spirit. Okay, you guys, I do hope that the reading was helpful, though. You know, I never got, I never want you guys to feel like judged or like I'm trying to tell you what to do. But there are a lot of warnings in your reading this time. So just do what you feel is best for you. I wish you all the best in your love life. I send you much love and light. Thank you for joining me for today's love reading, Aquarius. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next reading.